This week's video is sponsored by Squarespace. Well, late. Good morning, everybody. I say late uh, because uh, we've driven up to the very north end of Lewis. Now, for any of you that are familiar with this location, the two environments are, are very, very different to one another. Harris is a bit more gentle, rolling, and Lewis has steep cliffs and these pinnacles, as you can see behind me here. It is, it is beautiful up here. Uh, there's nobody up here. I'm just here with uh, Alistair Ben and his client Phil and then way down on the beach there You probably can't see him is uh, Tom doing a bit of uh, vlogging down there So we arrived about probably an hour and a half ago and it was just absolutely pouring with rain So we've been sitting in the car waiting for the weather to change and it's it's slowly changing at least it stopped raining and now we've gone for a walk and I'm just looking to see what there is to photograph. And of course, the thing that stands out to me, uh, probably the most prominent thing, are these uh, beautiful sea stacks down here with the sandy beaches. So I'm just wandering around trying to find some compositions. And uh, as soon as I find something, I'll be sure to uh, share with you what I found. So while we were hanging out in the car, we were talking about tripods and uh, and uh, stability of tripods and, and safely using a tripod. And uh, it's funny because, as you can see here, I'm quite close to the edge here and it is quite windy. It's not as windy as it could be, uh, but my recommendation is, uh, and we were talked, talked about this in the car, is never leave your camera sitting on a tripod next to a cliff when there's wind or even if there isn't wind never leave your camera just sitting there on a tripod because there's a really good chance that it'll end up on the other side of the cliff and uh, if you're on a trip like this and you only have one camera that could be kind of the end of your trip so what I usually do is I'll just keep taking my camera off if I'm going to my bag for a filter I'll take the whole camera with me I really don't want my camera going over the cliff now as far as this image goes, uh, it's really quite pretty because we have that lovely beach in the background and it's just pristine. There's hardly any footprints on it whatsoever. And then the, uh, the sea stacks. And what I've decided to do is do some panos because I really love uh, the cliff on the side here and the sea stacks and of course the ocean and parts of the mountains or the hillsides beh behind I'm not terribly keen on the foreground here, the grasses, it's, it's, uh, well, there's a lot of sheep around here, so it's pretty much uh, flattened by sheep and photographers probably. But uh, yeah, it's a, it's a beautiful scene. I was hoping for a little bit of directional light, but I, I don't think that's going to happen. But I think the colors are subtle enough that it'll, it'll bring the, the image or it'll save the image. It's just a, such a spectacular view. Now, as far as the ocean goes, I'm, I'm trying some different techniques here. I've taken some at a fast shutter speed to, to stop the motion of the waves. And I'm also trying some with uh, some case ND filters just to drag that shutter out a little longer to uh, blur that water. I'm not really sure which one works best. So I've just decided to go with, with both and then and pick the, my favorite out of the bunch.
Right, new location on uh, the Isle of Lewis. I'd give you the name of this location, but I can't remember it, and I probably wouldn't be able to pronounce it anyway. <laughs> so, uh, and the weather has done a, a 180. It's completely clear now without any clouds. You just can't seem to get a break. Now then, this location is absolutely spectacular. And the main feature of it is actually a big archway that's over that way but you're shooting directly in the sun so I've made the executive decision to come round another little peninsula here so I'm shooting down on these cliffs here and these sea sacks and as you can see the uh, ocean is uh, well it's it's pretty vigorous <laughs> so I wouldn't want to fall in there that's for sure so I'm more or less just taking grand landscapes right now the sun is really low in the sky I'll probably lose it in about 10 minutes or so so grand landscapes and then if I have time I'll take some shots or some close-ups of these sea stacks down here with the waves crashing against it Once again, I'd like to thank Squarespace for supporting my channel and sponsoring this week's video. One of my favorite features of a Squarespace website is the ability to quickly and efficiently update a gallery or page either from a desktop computer or while on the fly using the Squarespace app from my mobile device. Loading multiple images onto a page is quick and offers the ability to change a design or page quickly and elegantly without any coding knowledge. Want to sell your products? No problem. Setting up shop is also quick and intuitive. Sound interesting? Why not head over to squarespace.com and try it for free. And if you like what you find, use the code Adam Gibbs for 10% off your first purchase. Check this out, unbelievable. It's funny, uh, I think, what day are we on today? Um, I can't remember. <laughs> That's the thing when you're on a, a long photo trip, it's great when you can really immerse yourself in photography, you just kind of lose track of time. I think we've been on Harris for, I guess, three days now. Uh, and this the other great thing is having a friend that knows the, the areas intimately, so it can take you to some areas that aren't quite as popular and this is uh, one of them. Just, it's just stunning. The action of the waves and the energy is just unbelievable. I definitely would not want to fall in there. So the center of interest for me on, for this image here, or this scene, is this sea stack in the middle here. Uh, the only problem with where I am right now is that the top of it is kind of merging with the bottom of the cliff in the background but every now and then you'll have a swell that moves in and you can see the top it's, it's much more prominent of the uh, the sea stack in the middle so i think i'm going to set up here there's a great pointy rock here that somewhat mimics the uh, the background so i'll have that in the foreground and then the sea stack and then of course the cliffs in the background 
and it's just a matter of waiting for the right wave action to come in so that you can see that prominence pointy bit of the mid of the midsection there don't want to get too close to the edge though because i definitely do not want to fall in there uh, it's, it's just stunning it would be nice if there was a bit more directional light but you know you kind of gotta take what you get uh, we're only here for the day so uh, it's either take some shots in this light or come back at another time which is at this point probably unlikely right i'm gonna get set up and uh, and see what i can come away with right here Once again, folks, thank you ever so much for tuning into this week's video. Please be sure to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And as always, if you enjoy this type of content, be sure to hit that subscriber button. All right, until next week's video, bye-bye. <music>